welcome to the Willowbird Making Challenge number five. Um, I'm here with Kelly and Trudy and Erin to present the last and biggest challenge to you. And just so we're all very clear, I do not walk around in my daily life like this. This is my Halloween costume. I just got back from the middle school social. I'm a dancer from the Gangnam Style video. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. And yes, I can do the dance. Um, but anyway, so just in our last challenge, I hope you're joining us. Um, if you haven't gotten to do any of the challenges before, and so I'll just quickly tell you what Willowbird Baking Challenge is all about. Um, Willowbird Baking Challenge is a baking competition where you can jump in and innovate in the kitchen. And so I give you kind of a recipe base, but then you have to really make it your own. Um, and first, we're just going to introduce ourselves. I'm obviously Julie, but I'm not going to talk too much about myself. I'm going to ask these lovely ladies, um, what is a blog that has really influenced you? And I've already told them they can't say Willow Bird Baking, so they won't feel pressured to say it because they're hanging out with me. So, Kelly, let's start with you. Tell us where you're from and what's a blog that's really influenced you. Okay, I'm from Jamaica, and blog has really influenced me. I have quite a few because they're usually maybe, I don't know, 15 or 20 lined up in my Google Reader every morning. So I have, like, my top favorites is usually Mrs. in Training. She does some really, really cute treats from time to time, and I hope one day to decorate, decorate a cake that looks just like hers. And I love Annie's Eats because she has some amazingly decorated sugar cookies. Awesome. Those are some of my faves as well. Trudy, what about you, girl? Tell us a little bit about where you're from and then your one of your favorite blog or a couple of your favorite blogs. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm from Jamaica also. Um, my favorite blogs. Well, you know, if I could say we'll over baking, that would be nice. <laughs> and down. Because that's kind of the blog that introduced me to the vlog, blogging world of cooking. Um, but since I can, uh, Peaky Palette yep. is one of my favorites. Um, Spitten, Spitten Kitchen, I think it's called. And Pioneer Woman. But it's funny because all of these, like, the, the, other, the last two are not just baking, but like, I, got, I, I get a lot of. Um, you know, regular cooking recipes from those too. You know, so those are my three. I also am in love with all of those blogs that you mentioned. Some lovely lady bloggers. I love them very much. And Erin, tell us about you, where you're from. And we lost Erin last broadcast, so we're so glad to have her here. Where you're from and what blogs you love that have influenced you. Okay, well, I'm from upstate New York, so not to be confused with New York City. Um, and I would have to say lately one of my favorite blogs that I've had time for, it's been a little crazy around my house with a newborn, so I have not been reading blogs like I normally do, uh -huh. but, um, Anna's Plate is one of my favorites lately because she just had a baby too, uh -huh. so it's been fun, she, her baby's a, maybe three months older than Eliana, so I kind of got like prepared for the yeah. worst because her baby was really cranky so I was like all ready for a cranky baby <laughs> but then I got an angel so Aww. um and she has some fun recipes and um I really like uh whisk kid as well that's another one that she just is really practical and um I like her recipes too a lot of baked goods and things like that mm -hmm. so. Thanks. Awesome. Well, I'm Julie, and of course I write Willowbird Baking, and I honestly, I read and love hundreds of blogs, so I could sit up here and name dozens for you that are my faves, but um, I'll just name a couple. Um, I really, what moves me is great writing. So one of my very favorite blogs in the world is called The Spinning Plate. Uh, you should look her up, and you should read all of her beautiful writing. She's a wonderful writer. Um, I also love Whisk Kid. That's one that I was going to say as well. Cause, um, Caitlin is a college student and she is just one of the best little writers out there. Um, and I always show my students her blog to show them what awesome things young people can do. Um, and I mean I could name a bajillion more but um, I'll just name one more and that one is Joy the Baker. 
love Joy's style. She's a great voice, and she's also a great person, and she's one of um, the bloggers that's managed to maintain an awesome level of authenticity, and authenticity is really important to me because um, that's what I strive for. I strive to just be myself on the blog and meet other people who are being themselves. Um, so those are just a few blogs I love. I could go on and on, but I won't because I know what you're really here for. You guys are really here for challenge number five. So give me a drum roll, y'all. A, a nine finger drum roll. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Our drum roll. <laughs> The, the challenge itself will be more exciting than drum roll, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> challenge number five is the biggest challenge yet. Um, it's not something little like cookies. It's not something exactly easy like it pays off your brain. Um, challenge, <laughs> challenge number five is to innovate a creative cake on cheesecake. And what I want you to do with this cheesecake is I want you to make it. So here's the theme, okay? The theme is something that represents your personal culinary journey. And so it can be something that represents a memory that's really important to you in the kitchen. It can be something that represents um, one of the things you've made that you're proud of. Um, it can be any number of things. But I'm going to show you a screenshot of a few of the cheesecakes that I've made to maybe get you okay. thinking. You're the cheesecake queen. And then we'll ask our ladies. That's right. Oh, well, thank you. Um, that is so sweet of you to say because I'm definitely stumbling through cheesecakes all the time. Um, but here, here are some cheesecakes I've made. Um, this is my collage, and I won't go through them all, but I'll tell you some of the techniques I've used because it might get you thinking. Um, so what I usually do is start with either a plain chocolate or coffee or peanut butter cheesecake base. So pick your favorite cheesecake to go on the bottom. And I usually start with a cheesecake that's about three blocks of cream cheese worth um, so that I have room on top to put something on them. And on top, I usually put something like mousse, or you can see the top left here is a sticky toffee pudding cheesecake. Um, you could put a layer cake on top. Um, the one in the middle right is my chocolate chip cookie dough um, topped cheesecake, so it's got a layer of frozen chocolate chip cookie dough on top. Um, you can definitely you can use caramels. You can use um, any kind of creams. Uh, mousses are really great because they um, set up pretty stiff, and so um, I've used layers of brownies on top of cheesecake before. Yeah, that's really good. Um, and then I usually stick a layer of ganache somewhere in there. Um, so you can really go any route with this when you're layering your cheesecake to create lots of different varieties. Um, and I also want to show you guys this awesome resource. Well, it's not really awesome because it's just me, but I love it because it took me about two weeks to make. <laughs> so this is my cheesecake video and um, it's on YouTube and so you should feel free to... Oh, I've watched it. Yeah. Oh, did you do that one for the challenge? This the um, blogger thing? <laughs> yes, this is my project food blog flipping awesome cheesecake video and all my students always tell me they watch it. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but in within this cheesecake, you'll see how to make so many different kinds of cheesecake. Um, you know, I end up with three total, but but it, it shows you sort of the bare bones for how to make about 27 of them. So those are just some different suggestions for resources but you can really build this cheesecake any way you want so any combination of flavors something that really represents you personally and your style in the kitchen so ladies do we have any ideas so far Trudy let's start with you have you thought of anything that might strike your fancy hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm not good at thinking on the spot. Um, no, but I know it would be crazy. When all else fails, just say chocolate, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, no, they would have thought you would have been a lot of it. It was trying to be thicker this time for sure. Oh, there you go, right? Because you had that cold. You never did get your your booze on. In the exactly, exactly. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, what about you? Did you think of it has anything? Oh, oh. Well, I decided that whatever we chose today, I was going to use coconut and chocolate. So now I have to figure out how to make coconuts and chocolate work for oh, my journey. Something like an almond joy one. There you yep. go. Or like a that Samoa great, cheesecake. Yeah. Girl, Ooh, you that would be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will tie in the representation of Jamaica somewhere and coconuts. I'll get it done. There you go. That's awesome. Erin, what about you? Any ideas? I don't know. My standard is usually your coffee cheesecake, so I, I have to get totally out of the box. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'll have to definitely think about it. Your family is going to vote for that one because they love I know. it. I just made it um, two weeks ago, actually, again. Everybody loves it. <laughs> oh, so you're going to have to wean them off. You're going to have to be like, no, this time it's my y'all. Yeah, <laughs> my other favorite is a white chocolate raspberry one that I make. Oh my gosh. You can't go wrong, girl. With some ganache. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. You know what I've been loving recently is, um, oh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Hangouts are always. Ball. You're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> like Someone is calling you. Someone's calling me. I don't even know. Hello? <laughs> Um, okay, well, we'll just ignore that. Um, sorry if you just called, but um, what I'm loving right now is all sorts of, like, salty sweet stuff, like pretzels and chocolate and stuff like that, so I wonder if I could work that in somehow. <laughs> Trudy, you got some funny years going on. <laughs> um, oh, man. Some kind of salty sweet. I'm thinking of pretzels. I don't know. I think I've just been eating too many. Or oh, popcorn. Would that not be a fun cheesecake with popcorn on top? Like caramel popcorn. Yes. Yes. Oh, like, yeah. I first thought of cinnamon rolls because I, I don't know. I'm just so cinnamon roll obsessed. Oh, I my gosh. You should do. <gasps> a cinnamon roll cheesecake. Do it, Trudy. <laughs> what if you get that girl like a cheesecake with cinnamon rolls flipping on top? Yeah. That was my first time, <laughs> but then I thought not. Girl, I would buy that thing from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, I'm getting another phone. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> you guys, we're just so popular tonight. People are blowing <laughs> up our phones. <laughs> I get it. Because I look like the girl in the Gangnam Style video. I get it. <laughs> All right. So, well, Innovate Cheesecake. Um, a couple people were confused about how to send me their photos last time, so I'll just reiterate that you can um, just snap a shot of it and send it to me at julie at willowbirdmaking.com. So just ship it off to my email address, or you can just send me a link to your blog post if you have a blog. And I can't wait to share them. We'll be sharing them next weekend. And don't forget to be on the lookout tomorrow for people's awesome um, cupcake recipes because I've been getting some. They're, they're going to blow your mind, put it that way. All right, ladies, thank you so much for your help introducing the last Willowbird Baking Challenge. Have a great night. Fun. Say bye, everybody. You too. Bye. 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 <laughs>